Once you have installed the SQL Server, then you need an interface to access that SQL Server and for that we will be using SQL Server Management Studio or SSMS. To download the SQL Server Management Studio, we can follow this link. Let's click on this link. You can find the link to download the SQL Server from this page also. But to work with the SSMS, we need to scroll a little bit and at this place we will find a link. You can download the SQL Server Management Studio and you can install it in your system. Once you have installed the SQL Server Management Studio in your system, this is how it will look like. This is the default page of SQL Server Management Studio. Remember, SQL Server and SSMS both are separate projects. We need to connect our SQL Server from this SSMS. To connect to a SQL Server, we can use this option at this place. If you have installed the SQL Server at your local system, then you can give the path. You can also use the dot for the local system. At the bottom side, we can use the Windows authentication or the SQL authentication. If you are using a SQL Server that is installed at some other place, then you can provide the server name over here and you can provide the SQL Server authentication that is login and password at this place. And you can click on this connect button. Since I am using the SQL Server that is installed in my local system, so I will be using the Windows option. Remember, in one SQL Server, you can have n number of databases. Let's see some benefits of using SQL Server Management Studio. SSMS provides the UI to access the SQL Server. We can also access the SQL Server using Visual Studio. So if you are using Visual Studio and you do not want to work with the SSMS, then you are free to use Visual Studio.